Today we are going to be making the vintage sun hat. You'll need worsted weight cotton yarn and an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. To get started, make a magic ring, chain one, and make 10 half double crochet in the ring. Pull your magic ring closed and join with the slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. Okay. For our next round, we're going to chain one, make two half double crochet in each stitch around. Now at the end of your round, join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. Now you should have a total of 20 stitches around. For round three, chain one, two half double crochet in the first stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch. Continue to repeat, two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch. Once you've come to the end, join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made, and you should have 30 stitches in your round. For round four, chain one, two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitches, two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitches. Continue to repeat that all the way around. When you've come to the end of your round, slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. You should have 40 stitches completed. For round five, chain one, two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next three stitches. You're going to repeat two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next three stitches nine times. Now, once you've completed repeating the two double crochets, two, one half double crochet in each stitch around, you're gonna have four stitches left. So half double crochet in the last four stitches for a total of 49 stitches. If you are stopping at infant size, stop here and proceed to the timestamp listed in the description below. For toddler size, we're gonna take back these four stitches and we're gonna include another, the final increase for this round. So make two half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in the final three stitches. Join with a slip stitch to your first stitch made tighten off. Okay. For the next round, we're going to chain two and we're going to repeat two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next four stitches. And we're going to repeat that six times. So two half double crochet in the first stitch, half double crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, now that you've done your six repeats, we're gonna continue by half double crochet in each stitch around to the end. Okay. 
lucky. When you've come to the end, slip stitch to your first half double crochet made. And now you should have 56 stitches around. If you are working on the toddler size, this is where you're going to stop and proceed to the timestamp below in the description. For the child size, I'm going to go back and we have to increase all the way around, placing two half double crochet, half double crochet in the next four. We're going to complete that all the way around. Now that we've finished round five of our child hat, you should have 60 stitches around. What we're going to do now is our last final increase round. Chain one, two half double crochet in the next stitch, and half double crochet in the next five stitches. And you're going to repeat this three times. So one, One, two, and three. Now that you've created your three increases around, oh, we need these last five stitches right here. One, two, three, four, five. So the next thing you're gonna do is proceed by crocheting all the way around. Now that we've finished round seven, you should have 63 stitches. The next thing, we're going to start moving on to the first row of our body. This will be the same for both infant and toddler and child. So if you can just follow along, we're going to do round one of the body. So we're going to chain one, single crochet in the next five stitches. Chain two and skip the next two stitches. So once again, single crochet in the next five stitches. Chain two, skip two. Continue working that all the way around. Now that we've come to the Last repeat, just chain those last two stitches and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. All right, for our next round, round two of the body, slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, and single crochet in the next three stitches, starting with the one that you slip stitched into. One, two, three. And then you're going to chain one and you're going to make a V stitch inside the chain two space. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then we're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet in the next three stitches. And chain one. V stitch in the chain two space, chain one, skip the next single crochet, single crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, you're going to continue doing that all the way around your circle. When you've come to the end of your round, you should have your last V stitch here, your chain one, and you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. For round three of the body, 
you're going to slip stitch into the second stitch, chain one, and single crochet in that same stitch. We're going to chain one, and we're going to make five double crochet into the next chain one space. The chain one space of your V stitch more specifically. Chain one, single crochet in the center single crochet, chain one, and repeat five double crochet into the chain two chain one space of your V stitch. And then chain one, find that center single crochet and single crochet. Just continue to repeat that all the way around. You've come to the end on your last five double crochet shell. You're going to chain one and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. Okay, now for the next round, which will be round four of the body, slip stitch into the next chain and slip stitch into the next double crochet. Chain one, single crochet in the next five double crochet, Chain two, skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next five double crochet. So you're just going to continue by chaining two and making five single crochet in the next five double crochet. So just continue working that around. Okay, now that we've come to the end and did our last five double crochet cell, you're going to chain two and join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet made. Now for the next one, we are going to slip stitch into the next single crochet, chain one, and single crochet in the next three stitches. We're going to chain one. V stitch in the chain two space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, single crochet in the next three stitches. And continue to do that. Chain one, V stitch in the next chain two space. Chain one, single crochet in the center single crochets and continue that all the way around. All right, now we're gonna make our final V-stitch at the end of the round. We're gonna place it in that chain two space, that last chain two space, and then chain one, and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. Now for round six of our body, you're going to slip stitch into the next single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, chain one, and five double crochet in the next V stitch. So again, in a single crochet, in that center single crochet, chain one, make five double crochet into the next V-stitch. Just continue working that all the way around. Now that you've come to the end of your round, you should have five 
double crochet in that v-stitch and another chain one and then you're just going to join to that first single crochet made and then we're going to slip stitch for round seven of the body you're going to slip stitch into here into the chain one space and then slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round chain one and then you're going to make single crochets on the next five stitches chain two and make five single crochet across the next five double crochet you're going to repeat that all the way around Now that round seven of the body is almost complete. You have your five single crochets on top of your double crochets. You're gonna chain two and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. For round eight of the body, you're going to just slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, single crochet in the next three stitches, chain one, v-stitch in the next chain two space, chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet in the next three stitches, and chain one. One last time, that's v-stitch in the chain two space, chain one, skip the next single crochet, single crochet in the next Three stitches. Once you've created your last V stitch in the chain two space, the last chain two space of the round, you're going to chain one and join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. And to start out with row nine, we are going to slip stitch into the next single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and then we're going to chain one, and you're going to put five double crochet in the next v-stitch. Three, four, and five. And again, you're going to chain one, skip the next chain one space and single crochet, single crochet in the next stitch. Now that we've came to our end row, end of the round, um, we have our five double crochets in that last v-stitch. We're going to chain one and join to that final single crochet. Then the next thing we're going to do for round 10 of the body is slip stitch into the next chain, slip stitch into the next double crochet, chain one, make five single crochet across the next five double crochet stitches and chain two. Continue to repeat five single crochet over the next five double crochet stitches, chain two, and skip over to the next five. we go. Now that we've come to our final round of the body, we are going to chain one, two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch. Again, two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, which is going to be in your chain two space. Each chain is going to count as a stitch on this round. So just get your, get your hook in there and finish this off. 
two, one. Again, two half double crochet, half double crochet, one. Two half double crochet, half double crochet, one. All right, and I'll be back as soon as that's finished. Now that you've completed round 11, the first round of our brim, we're going to continue on to the brim. The brim will be worked with one half double crochet in each stitch around for a total of three additional rounds. Now that we've created the past three rounds of the brim, we're going to add one more round. If you would like your brim to be more loose and floppy, just continue by creating a half double crochet around again. But if you prefer something with more of a finished look, finished tidy look, we're going to reverse single crochet all the way around the hat. In order to reverse single crochet, you're going to take your crochet hook and insert into the stitch previous. So we're gonna work backwards into the stitch previous, draw up a loop and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Again, you're gonna insert from front to back from the stitch to the right of you, and then you're going to pull through, yarn over and pull through. So I'm just gonna continue doing this all the way around the hat and I'll show you when it's finished. All you're gonna do now, after you finished your last round of the brim, you're gonna finish off weaving your ends and then there you go, you have a hat. It's that vintage sun hat. <laughs>